Go. Hello. Welcome. I am Catfish Franklin, and this here is Catfish Corner. And today's story is called The Ship That Never Returned. But before I get into that, I would like to thank you for stopping by. And I would like to thank the people who are supporting me on Patreon and through GiveButter. Uh, now then, The Ship That Never Returned. I think this was suggested to me by super friend of the channel and my YouTube broski, Felix Chaplin of It's Free IP. So, uh, I think it was a long time ago, so I figure I better get to it. And this is a good song. Uh, it is said to be the uh, music for uh, The Wreck of the Old 97. Like, The Wreck of the Old 97 used this song for its music. And it seems like it pretty much did. They're pretty much the same. Um, and it was, because this song was published in 1865, written by Henry Clay Work. So it's been around, and it's pretty good. Uh, and as far as I know, I'm pretty sure I'm using the original lyrics. So, uh, well, let's just see what this song's all about. You hear that? Why, that's the sound of an old steamboat chugging away out there somewhere on the vast, untamable ocean. On a summer's day when the wave was rippled by the softest, gentlest breeze, did a ship set sail with a cargo waiting for a port beyond the seas. There were sweet farewells, there were loving signals while the form was yet discerned. Though they knew it not, twas a somber parting for the ship, she never returned. Did she never return? still be out there somewhere. Best crew around. Said a feeble lad to his anxious mother, I must cross the wide, wide sea. For they say perchance in a foreign climate there is help and strength for me. Twas a gleam of
That's the story of the ship that never returned. One thing that I think is interesting about that song is the way it takes uh, different characters uh, who were getting on the boat and tells both of their stories. I guess two characters, even though there's three verses. But I think that's pretty cool. That's good songwriting, uh, in my opinion. And uh, I want to thank Felix Chaplin for suggesting it. Um, Felix over there on It's Free IP, where they talk all things public domain. Uh, it is a super cool channel, and uh, he is really doing some cool stuff over there. So, uh, uh, in honor of Felix over there, at It's Free IP. I thought I'd I thought I'd explain it to you all with a song. Felix Chaplin, why he's one cool cat. He's gonna show you where the public domain is at. So if you want to learn about art that is free, visit Felix Chaplin at It's Free IP. It's Free IP. It's Free IP. Ha <laughs> Alright, that's it for story time today, everyone. Thank you very much, and uh, be good to each other, and I'll see you next time.